the speed of sound. The enigmatic son of the Blackbird, the SR-72, is on its way, equipped with advanced laser weapons that move at the speed of light. It may seem like a tale from a science fiction novel, but whispers about this classified project are starting to emerge as those who have witnessed its existence come forward to unravel the enigma. Get ready for an exciting adventure into the realm of state-of-the-art aviation as we delve into the rumors, secrets, and remarkable abilities of the SR-72. In the records of aviation history, the year 1964 signaled the start of a mysterious period when the SR-71 Blackbird first took to the skies. Officially joining the United States Air Force in 1966, this remarkable aircraft quickly achieved legendary status. The Blackbird, though unarmed, served as a formidable symbol of the Cold War, striking fear into the hearts of enemies with its unmatched speed of over Mach 3, or approximately 2,300 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, a flight from London to New York would take just over an hour at that speed. The aircraft also boasted impressive altitude capabilities. Even after its retirement in 1998, the SR-71 continued to captivate the world as an engineering marvel, a tribute to human innovation, and an enigma that left people yearning for more. For years, whispers of a successor circulated in hushed tones. Rumors spoke of the US Air Force's relentless quest to forge a new aircraft that would not only replace the Blackbird, but surpass its extraordinary capabilities. Success remained elusive until November 2013, when Lockheed Martin, a global aerospace and defense titan, finally pulled back the curtain to reveal the enigmatic heir to the SR-71, the SR-72, the son of the Blackbird. Emerging from the shadows, the SR-72 is said to be an advanced reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence gathering aircraft, boasting significant upgrades and enhancements. Cloaked in secrecy, it is believed that the SR-72 will be an unmanned aircraft, remotely controlled from the ground, eliminating the need for human pilots. This bold evolution hints at the SR-72's potential to soar to heights and speeds that would be unimaginable, even perilous, for any human to endure. The SR-72's fusion of unprecedented speed and stratospheric altitudes has ignited the imagination of aviation enthusiasts around the world. The truth remains shrouded in mystery, but one thing is certain. The SR-72, the son of the Blackbird, has emerged as a tantalizing symbol of mankind's unyielding pursuit of mastery over the skies. According to Lockheed Martin, directed energy systems serve as a vital shield for America and its allies against emerging threats, pushing our brightest minds to overcome formidable technological challenges. Recently, Lockheed Martin collaborated with the Office of Naval Research to achieve a groundbreaking milestone, successfully neutralizing a simulated cruise missile in flight using an all-electric high-energy laser. This remarkable feat fuels speculation that the SR-72, also known as the Son of the Blackbird, will be equipped with advanced laser weaponry, including the integrated tactical airborne laser. As we delve deeper into the enigma of the SR-72, prepare to be astonished by the possibilities that lie within this cutting-edge marvel. Beyond the integrated tactical airborne laser, the SR-72 is rumored to be equipped with a suite of state-of-the-art laser weapon systems that could revolutionize aerial combat. These advanced directed energy weapons have the potential to engage a variety of targets, from enemy aircraft and drones to ground-based installations and even incoming missiles. Their precision and speed of light engagement capabilities offer a significant advantage over conventional weaponry, reducing collateral damage and increasing efficiency on the battlefield. Moreover, these laser systems are expected to have lower operational costs, as they do not require ammunition replenishment. As the SR-72 continues to be developed, it is expected that further innovations in laser technology will be integrated into its design, making it a truly formidable force in the skies. As the world of aviation pushes the boundaries of innovation, laser technology is rapidly evolving and holds the potential to transform the way aircraft are designed and utilized. Laser weaponry, like the integrated tactical airborne laser rumored to be equipped on the SR-72, is expected to play a pivotal role in shaping the future of aerial warfare. These advanced laser systems are designed to deliver powerful, concentrated beams of light that can cause catastrophic damage to targets with exceptional precision. The advantages of laser weaponry extend beyond their ability to engage targets with speed and precision. Lasers are also silent, reducing the aircraft's noise signature and increasing stealth capabilities. Furthermore, Lasers have virtually unlimited ammunition, as long as there is a power source, significantly reducing the logistical burden of transporting and storing conventional ammunition. In addition to their potential for use in combat scenarios, 
lasers could also play a vital role in defending the aircraft from threats. For instance, laser defense systems could be used to intercept and destroy incoming missiles or projectiles, providing an additional layer of protection for the SR-72. As the SR-72 project continues to develop, it is expected that advancements in laser technology will be integrated into its design, solidifying its status as a revolutionary and formidable force in the skies. Lockheed Martin has hinted that the SR-72 could emerge as the ultimate stealth aircraft for conducting surveillance and reconnaissance missions, effortlessly eluding radar and advanced tracking systems. However, in spite of its seemingly unparalleled capabilities, the SR-72's future was cloaked in shadows as it lingered in the prototype stage until the end of 2021. The fate of this extraordinary machine remained uncertain, enveloped in an air of mystery and intrigue. However, the winds of change began to stir last year after sightings of an enigmatic aircraft bearing a striking resemblance to the SR-71. Speculation ran rampant that the long-awaited SR-72 might have already reached an advanced stage in its clandestine development. You see, the SR-72 is a top-secret project, a brainchild of Lockheed Martin in collaboration with NASA and the US military. Consequently, information about its progress and official launch remains scarce. Anticipation builds as whispers of a hypersonic spy plane capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 6, or approximately 4,500 miles per hour, spread like wildfire. To grasp the magnitude of such speed, imagine flying from New York to Los Angeles in just over an hour. While the original Blackbird, the SR-71, was considered a marvel in its time, the SR-72 aims to carry on this legacy by integrating cutting-edge technology, advanced propulsion systems, and state-of-the-art sensors. Additionally, the sightings of the mysterious aircraft have sparked speculation that the SR-72 is equipped with high-tech laser weapons, further enhancing its capabilities and potential military applications. The SR-72 is rumored to soar at altitudes around 80,000 feet, over twice as high as a commercial airliner. At such heights, the air is much thinner, allowing for faster speeds and reduced air resistance, but also posing engineering challenges. However, these extreme conditions also pose a myriad of engineering challenges, such as managing the heat generated by the aircraft's skin friction. Moreover, the uncharted realm of hypersonic flight envelops the SR-72 in even more mystery, adding to the allure of this enigmatic aircraft. The enigmatic world of hypersonic flight remains veiled in uncertainty, as the aerodynamics and material science required for sustained speeds of this magnitude continue to perplex even the most brilliant minds. Confronted by extreme temperatures and pressures, engineers must devise innovative materials and structural approaches to bring the SR-72 to life. Yet, despite these seemingly insurmountable challenges, the team behind the SR-72 remains steadfast in their optimism as they envision the aircraft taking its place among the pantheon of legendary machines like the Blackbird and the Concorde, transcending the boundaries of aviation as we know it. The SR-72, an eagerly anticipated aircraft, has been heavily influenced by the data gathered from the Falcon HTV-2, an unmanned test vehicle launched by the US Department of Defense in 2010. The HTV-2's primary goal was to collect data on hypersonic flight, undergoing intensive testing on aerodynamics, thermal effects, navigation, and control. Lockheed Martin states that the HTV-2's tests, which reached speeds up to Mach 20 and temperatures of 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, have been instrumental in shaping the SR-72's design. Despite the project's secrecy, rumors of its advanced stealth technology have sparked curiosity among aviation enthusiasts. From the glimpses of concept art that have managed to seep through the shroud of secrecy, it is evident that the SR-72 is a marvel of engineering. With a sleek, futuristic design optimized for high-speed flight, this enigmatic machine captures the imagination. The twin air intakes, nestled beneath the fuselage, ensure a continuous supply of air to the engine for peak performance. Its slender, low-mounted delta wing assemblies are anticipated to reduce drag and heighten maneuverability at breakneck speeds, while the single vertical tail fin promises stability during flight. Rumors suggest that the SR-72 will soar even higher than its legendary predecessor, with an estimated maximum altitude reaching an astounding 100,000 feet. At such elevations, the aircraft could survey vast expanses, becoming even more elusive to detection and tracking. Its retractable undercarriage allows for traditional takeoff and landing, enabling ground maintenance and servicing like any other aircraft. 
Yet, the SR-72 is expected to spend the majority of its time in the stratosphere, flying at speeds up to six times the speed of sound while gathering intelligence beyond the reach of conventional aircraft. The SR-72's anticipated success hinges on a critical component, its power plant. Rumors suggest a turbine-based combined cycle propulsion system with the base turbine engine providing thrust during takeoff and up to Mach 3 speeds. Once the aircraft reaches these velocities, a dual-mode ramjet is said to take over, propelling the SR-72 into the realm of hypersonic flight and cementing its place in the annals of aviation history. This state-of-the-art propulsion system will draw air through a shared inlet at the engine housing's forefront and expel it through a common nozzle at the aircraft's rear. Yet, the true innovation of the SR-72's power plant lies within its internal ductwork, designed to switch seamlessly between propulsion methods, adapting to flight conditions. Beyond its reconnaissance prowess, the SR-72's power plant also opens the door to an array of military-oriented mission roles. Rumors hint at the aircraft being utilized as a missile-carrying platform, with missiles specifically designed for hypersonic flight to complement their delivery vehicle. This innovation would empower the military to strike targets with unparalleled speed and accuracy, potentially altering the course of conflicts. The SR-72's ability to deploy its payload before detection offers the US Air Force a significant advantage in combat situations. Its high-speed flight capabilities allow it to reach any global target within mere minutes or hours, leaving adversaries with little time to react. However, the military is not the sole beneficiary of this groundbreaking technology. Lockheed Martin envisions the SR-72's advanced systems revolutionizing passenger airline travel between major hubs. The aircraft's unrivaled speed could drastically reduce travel times, rendering long-distance journeys more manageable and accessible. Lockheed Martin anticipates a functional SR-72 test vehicle to materialize by 2030. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works facility, famed for its trailblazing technologies and clandestine operations, has revealed plans for the SR-72, with a fully developed prototype expected to undergo testing later this year. As progress on the SR-72 project hastens, sightings of a mysterious aircraft have emerged near the Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. Flanked by a pair of T-38 chase planes, this enigmatic machine is believed to be an early version of the SR-72, undergoing initial testing and evaluation. Despite the veil of secrecy shrouding the SR-72 project, it is evident that the Skunk Works team is once again transcending the limits of aerospace technology. With its hypersonic speed and adaptable capabilities, the SR-72 is poised to become an aviation game-changer. Yet the rumors surrounding the SR-71's potential successor do not end here. Rumors have also swirled around the much-anticipated successor to the SR-71, the enigmatic and much-speculated Aurora SR-91. The Aurora saga has fascinated aviation enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists for decades. Whispers of a swift, high-flying reconnaissance aircraft capable of reaching Mach 6 and soaring to altitudes up to 100,000 feet began circulating in the mid-1980s. Despite the government's denials, sightings and reports of peculiar, unidentifiable aircraft continued to emerge. Witnesses have claimed to glimpse Aurora's distinctive triangular shape and hear its thunderous sonic booms, while others reported mysterious lights and enigmatic contrails in the sky. Beyond speculation that the Aurora is the heir to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird spy plane, conjectures also propose it as a hypersonic aircraft, powered by a groundbreaking scramjet engine and armed with advanced stealth capabilities. The Aurora's rumored cutting-edge specifications have only fueled its mystique. Some assert the plane utilizes state-of-the-art scramjet technology, enabling unparalleled speeds and altitudes. Others suggest the Aurora is part of a wider effort to develop hypersonic weapons that could strike global targets within mere minutes. Reportedly, the Aurora could achieve speeds up to Mach 5 or 6, ranking it among the fastest planes ever constructed. It was also believed to fly at exceptionally high altitudes, potentially reaching 135,000 feet, rendering it nearly undetectable by radar. Some even speculated that the Aurora could traverse the edge of the atmosphere, venturing into space. The precise specifications of the Aurora, however, remain shrouded in mystery. Some experts contend that the aircraft may have only existed as a prototype or enjoyed a brief service life before retirement or replacement by a newer design. Others argue that the Aurora was never an actual aircraft, but a cover story for the development of other classified military technologies. Regardless of the Aurora's existence, its legend endures as a testament to the allure of enigma and conjecture. Perhaps one day the truth about this elusive aircraft will be unveiled, and we will uncover the genuine story behind one of aviation's greatest mysteries of all time.
please do not hesitate to support our channel by only giving a like, and you can continue discovering with the video on your screen.